Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards, that's toy-wizards.com, and I'm back with another spontaneous toy review. And today's item was brought to us by Mattel, so big thank you to Mattel for giving us something fun to look at together. Now, this is not a vintage toy. This is something from the upcoming DreamWorks movie, Spirit Untamed. So I know that a lot of Toy Wizards viewers are you know, nostalgia, vintage, old toy line lovers, but maybe you guys have kids. So I'm going to show off this new toy line that we were lucky enough to get samples for. Besides, I have a young daughter, so this video is for Leia. Before we get started, give this video a big like and subscribe to Toy Wizards on YouTube so you don't miss a single one of our updates. So this new movie, Spirit Untamed, is coming out in June. But this toy line was just launched on March 1st. So these are brand new toys. So let's look at some of the goodies that we have together. We have two toy sets. We have Prue, Prudence, and Chica Linda, which is this blonde horse. And we have Lucky and Spirit, which are our titular characters. I knew Spirit was the brown horse because I've seen a little bit of it on Netflix from my kids, but I didn't know the little girl was named Lucky. <laughs> I'm like, you got two horse names happening here. Lucky is a horse's name, right? Like, it's like, would you name a little girl? Like, what are some other famous horses? Like Mr. Ed, the Black Stallion, Black Beauty? I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm grasping at straws here. Are you guys horsey people? I'm not a horsey person. <laughs> The only horse I ever really liked in pop culture was I loved Starlight, Rainbow Bright's horse. I wrote an article one time. I'll link it below. It's really funny. It's um, pop culture infiltration, horses in car girly cartoons. Because they're just apparently little girls. And I use girls. Like, it can be boys. Like, it doesn't matter. But little kids apparently really like horses. And I just have always been a little bit, like, they're weird, man. They're really big. It's like giraffe dogs. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen their teeth and they can kick you and they can poop while they're walking and they're weird man horses are weird <laughs> I digress and then look at this look at this oh my god it's like Lucky's train home what happens in this movie <laughs> I definitely like it when the toys make me go what's going on in this movie so like we have that happening here like a train <laughs> what time period is this i thought this was contemporary but like look she's like dressed all colonial like i'm confused this is like it's like westworld is this like dudes westworld retelling with spirit i'm on board let's do it so the last mattel horsey toy that we played with um if you guys remember when i reviewed the wonder woman 84 toys from mattel that we also received uh there was the young diana on like the black horse and i had so much trouble with the gimmick like i didn't understand that the clear saddle thing was that it was supposed to hold the doll i thought it was like I thought it was for like display and then you have to break it off because back when I was a kid with and ho with horsey toys, you would hold the horse like this and you'd hold your doll like that and you'd like make them ride and if she fell off, like oops, you're a sucker. But now kids today have like built in saddle holder things that go around the toy's waist so that you don't have to have the same dark fate as m my friends and I had. So like even horsey toys guys have come into the future, it's amazing. Let's look together. All right, we're gonna open both Lucky and Spirit, and we're gonna open Prue and Chickalinda. What a name. All right, here's the back of the box. Look at all those determined girls with their horses. You know which other horse I liked in pop culture? Do you remember Pippi Longstocking's horse, Alfonso? Yeah, he was rad. Alfonso was cool. He lived in the attic and he talked. He did, he, Alfonso talked. Man, toys and dolls have just come so far. They have come so far. Look, she has beautiful hair. And like, so her shirt is made of cloth. And it's got this really cool design on it. Definitely love that kind of Spanish inspired design. And she has this really cool scarf around her waist that's completely plastic. Um, so it won't fall off or do anything weird. And then she has these gorgeous boots that I'm totally in love with. Um, I would wear those. Those are great. And so yeah, this is just a nice doll. Really good articulation in the hips. She's gotta have good hip articulation if we wanna get her on that horse. So really super poseable doll we got here. 
and then shoulder articulation and you know then we have her head that cute little determined expression here's the horse who actually features a little bit of articulation of her own look the head moves i know that's it's seemingly simple i've never seen that before and then here's the thing i was talking about and that holds the character onto the horse which again i learned from the wonder woman doll that i had so much trouble with like a dope <laughs> I felt so I felt so dumb that day <laughs> but you know you, if you see a new gimmick like what you don't know what to do with it until you see it more than once so here we go all right look we have lucky on her horse looking fantastic and she is she is on the horse so it's not like back in my day yesterday we were like desperately holding on to the toy while she's riding her horse, like, no, she will stay on her horse. So you can have all sorts of adventures. If you're a kid and you're playing with this, you can have all sorts of crazy adventures and not have to worry about your girl dismounting or falling off her horse. Let's look at Prue and Chikalinda. I don't know why I keep saying it like that. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to do. Chica, Chikalinda, 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 Chikalinda. And we are freedom. We have the same articulation on the horse I really like the paint on both of the horses legs it just was really nice gradient paint from their kind of caramel colored bodies coffee and cream colored fur which is not fur it's not flocked or anything down to the legs and then this character is just adorable look at her little bow I love the braid I love the curly bangs this outfit is just so cute we have the same articulation and cloth shirt let's get her on her horse and there we go Prue is riding there we go look at that isn't that cute and then the tails are plastic so you can hold the horses by the tails as for kind of stability like to play your game i think these are so these are honestly adorable um and if i were a little kid and i didn't have to worry maybe that's why i didn't like horses when i was a kid because it was like my hand is busy for my game but like with this with the new saddle gimmick that mattel's doing on these toys it's really smart and so the horse is just like a vehicle like she's, it's barbie's dream car <laughs> let's look at the last set we got all right lucky's train home this is a lot. Here we go. I'm loving these, the decorations here. Like that design sensibility is like right up my alley. I love ornate, swirly, beautiful things like lush curtains. Totally my aesthetic. To note before I get this um, from their bindings, this luck, this spirit, Lucky's the girl, spirit's the horse. Lucky the girl, spirit's the horse does not have any actual hair like our other ones we just looked at, has a rubber tail and no saddle. And then meanwhile, we have Lucky over here wearing this not sensible for riding, um, you know, little travel dress and, you know, adorable little Mary Jane. So what's going on in this movie that we go from that to that? Or do we go back in time? I might need to watch this movie. Thanks, Toy Line. Do you see here on this little table? I think you can snap in the tea set right there so that they don't fly away. Let me do that. Let me give that a shot. That's a nice option. Man, the days of losing all your pieces might be gone. Oh, wow. I feel like a Lego maniac now. This is so nice. 
All right. Three cups. And boom, the teapot goes there. Come here, Lucky. Get to your train home. And I think there's actually a spot for her feet to go in so she doesn't fall. Talk about details. Wow. It is. Yeah, you can slip her feet and there's enough room for a friend. But look at that. You slip her feet in so that she like stays in there. Is that not adorable or what, dude? I would. I love play sets. And so like you can have your characters sitting at that table, hanging out, like first a small environment, like there's a lot to do in here. So I definitely, it brings back like memories of playing dollhouse and stuff like that. What a beautiful set. Thank you so much to Mattel for spoiling me rotten with these gorgeous toys to show off for you guys. If there's anyone in your life who likes spirit or horses or is looking for like new toys for kids, these are fantastic. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing my daughter and her friends um, play with them, you know, later today. This is going to be lots and lots of fun for me. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. Stick with our site daily for toy news, reviews, articles, listicles, snarticles, editorials, opinion pieces. And I'll catch you for the next one. Be good, be safe, have fun, and keep collecting. Bye!